Hacker Trivia here at the Sands Hasp Hackfest Summit, even. I'm here with David Fletcher, who is a tester of pens, a pen tester. Is that, what, is that your job for Black Hills Information Security, who all of you know and love, the illustrious John Strand and company. David's one of the, the company that, that John keeps. So, assumingly, you're good people. Assumingly. Did I say, what did I say? You said assumingly. Okay, good. Yes. What's going on, David? How are you? Not too much. How's it going? It's going fantastic. You're going to play trivia. Do you know how this works? No. Okay, I don't. good. That's the way we like it. I assume it. that I'm going to answer some questions. Yeah, I'm going to ask you questions and you're going to answer. There's no magic here. Okay. If the rules change, such as if I realign from a movie or they change to true and false questions, true or false questions, I should say, I'll let you know. You got or it. Or not. We'll see. Uh, so I'm going to go different <clears throat> questions than I've asked for. I've got banks of questions. So I'm going to go a little different. Because I haven't asked this question once, and it's one of my favorite questions. The Michael, and this is from the history of malware trivia. Oh, the Michelangelo virus was first discovered on February fourth, nineteen ninety-one, in Australia. It was designed to infect DOS systems and then infect the boot sector. Each year, the virus remained dormant until what day? Eleven March. Do you need close? Do you need a hint? Yes. A hint would be It great. is the birthday of Renaissance oh, artist Michelangelo. It was Michelangelo's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that one I have no idea. It is, in fact, March 6th. Ah, I was so close. Do you want some more useless facts about this? Absolutely. John McAfee had been quoted by the media saying that 5 million computers would be affected. He later said, pressed by the interviewer to come up with a number, that he had estimated a range from 5,000 to 5 million, but the media naturally just went huh. with a higher number. Inflate. Yes. We'll skip around a little bit. <clears throat> uh, I've asked pretty much... Oh, no, I haven't. In 2001, a worm spread by exploiting holes or vulnerabilities in both Sun Solaris and Microsoft IIS. To compromise the Solaris system, the worm takes advantage of a two-year buffer overflow in which program? As admin D. Yes, you are correct, David. Very good. Also, uh, coincidentally enough, the first incident response I performed while working for a, a university in my first week working there uh, nice. that later triggered much surrounding activity in Solaris and IIS security uh, and the first firewall implementation. Although no one knows that because that's in my own career in history. In my own, it's in my own head. Uh, there's a lot of things in my own head that didn't make it to the paper, and they're seemingly more interesting than what's on the paper sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the code red was a computer worm observed on the internet on July 15, 2001. It attacked computers running Microsoft's IIS web server. The code red worm was first discovered in research by EI Digital Security employees Mark Mayfrey and Ryan Perme. What vulnerability did it exploit? Oh, good lord. Nope, it was not the good lord vulnerability. <laughs> no, no. I have no idea. Uh, it was not the no idea. Damn it. Either. it was the index server ISAPI extension in oh. Microsoft's IIS. Where did the name Code Red come from? Excuse me. Wasn't oh. it Code Red Mountain Dew? It's what Dew? you think. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. Code Red Mountain Dew. Yeah. There's no, no, no secrets yeah. there. That no was, secrets there. yeah. Uh, do you like hacker movies? I've been known to watch a couple. Okay. Let's see how well you know your hacker movies, David. We'll see. I'm going to say a line from a hacker movie. You're going to tell me which hacker movie it came from. Okay. Shall we play a game? More games? No more secrets, Marty. Oh, uh, sneakers? He fights for the users. Hackers? Oh. No? You were on a roll. Damn it. Like, without hesitation, you had the first two. It's Tron. Tron. Oh, he, yeah, that is right. Hack the planet. Hack the planet. Yeah, that one's hackers. No one leaves the house anymore. No one has sex. The net is the ultimate condom. The net. The net. Very good. You want to keep going with quotes or you want true false about the movie Hackers? Your choice. We can go true false. Okay. True false questions about the 1995 film Hackers. The computer they break into is a fictional mainframe called a Gibson in homage to cyberpunk author William Gibson, true or false? True. That is correct. All of the hacker handles proposed by the Joey character were already in use by real-life hackers. 
True. That is correct. Johnny Lee Miller and Angelina Jolie were married shortly after the making of the film and still together to this day. Oh, false. That is false. They were divorced four years after they were married after filming together. The film's writer, director, and some cast members, members attended New York City's 2600 meeting in rollerblades to observe and talk with real-life hackers. False? That is false. They, they did attend, but not in rollerblades. All of the books identified by date at the club were real manuals, some published by the DOD. True. That is correct. You rock at movie trivia. If I give you another line, David, can you tell me the movie? I'll see if I can. Spandex is a privilege, not a right. Oh, damn it. It's also a true-false question. <laughs> That's a true it's question. True. It is true. I agree. True. Uh, I don't know. It is hackers. It's hackers. I used Damn to know it. the I used to know the character that said it and now it escapes me. It'll come to me. Anyway. Uh, famous hackers for five hundred. Oh. Are you ready? You want easy or hard? I want easy. Oh, come on. You gotta no one's gotten this question. Let me try it out. Okay. Right? You did so well with the hacker movie trivia. Not so well on the malware I'm trivia. Really great but... for fictional hackers. <laughs> there you go. All right. Also known as the mentor. He was a member of a couple of hacker elite groups in the 80s, notably the Legion of Doom, who battled for supremacy against the masters of deception. However, this biggest claim to fame is that he is the author of the Hacker Manifesto, The Conscience of a Hacker, which he wrote while he was arrested in 1986. You may think, after all of those ridiculous facts, where is the question? Who is, what is the real name of the mentor? Oh, I have no idea. I know, Aleph One for the manifesto, right? The mentor is the manifesto. I have no yeah. idea. Uh, it is Lloyd Blankenship. Good Lord. No one has gotten that question. I may need to change it. That was an easy one? That, no, that was the hardest okay. question I think I've ever asked on this program. I thought I'd just try it out on YouTube because you did so well with Hacker Movie Trivia. Uh, once upon a time, he was the most wanted cyber criminal of the U.S., now an affluent entrepreneur. Mitnick. Yes, Kevin Mitnick. Uh, although technically a phone freak, the captain is seen by many as a father of modern hackery and freaking. Ken Crunch? That is correct. Um, let's see. One more One more of these. How's that sound? Ron Rivest, Adi Shamir, and Leonard Edelman, who first publicly described this algorithm in 1978. RSA. Right. What is RSA? <laughs> it's kind, yes. of, what is it's RSA? kind of Jeopardy. Yes. Jeopardy like. Uh, he has serious hacking days and drives a Tesla. Repeat the question. He has serious hacking days and drives a Tesla. Serious hacking days and drives a Tesla. He also runs one of the most trusted information security firms and was recently mentioned on the popular TV show Mr. Oh. Robot. Hacking Dave. Dave Kennedy. Yes, you are correct. And Thank you so much. Recently dressed up as a cockroach. Well, what, what and confess? dressed up as a cockroach. I should add that to my repertoire. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you.